another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well so in this video we're gonna solve the problem linked list cycle so let's get started so the problem of linked list cycle is that they give you a single linked list and they ask you to determine if it has a cycle in it means that they ask you to determine whether there is a node in the linked list that points back to the previous node and create a cycle or loop but here there is a single difference which is that the pose is used to denote the index of the nodes that tails next pointer is connected to means that the last node in the list has a next reference that point to the node and one of the indexes inside the linked list. So to solve this problem we're going to use the two pointer method also known as the slow and fast pointer method. We're going to create a slow and fast variable that are initially pointing to the head of the linked list and we're going to iterate throughout the linked list first we will move the slow variable one step or one node then we will move the fast variable two step means two nodes. If there is a cycle in the list the fast pointer will eventually catch up to the slow pointer and they will both point to the same node otherwise if there is no cycle the fast pointer will reach the end of the list so let's say we have this input linked list and the tail of the linked list has a next reference that point to the second node means the node with the value 2 and we want to check if there is a cycle in it first we initialize two pointers slow and fast both variables are pointing to the head of the linked list which is the node with the value 3 then we start moving the slow to the next node means one step and we move up the fast pointer two nodes means two steps so here the fast pointer is at the value zero and the slow pointer is at the value two so at this point the slow and fast pointer are not pointing to the same node so we move the slow one step and the fast pointer two step means the faster gonna be pointed to the node with value of two then we check if the slow and fast pointer are pointing to the same node in this case it's no so we move the slow to be at the next node which is the node with value minus four and we move the fast pointer two steps means two nodes so here the slow and fast pointer will meet each others that's mean we can have a cycle inside the single linked list and return true that's it guys so let's jump at code in the solution first we initialize two pointer fast and slow to be pointing at the head of the single linked list there we iterate throughout the single linked list using the fast pointer we move the slow to the next node and we move up the fast pointer two nodes at each iteration and if the slow is equal to the fast point means that they meet each other and one of the node inside the linked list will return true otherwise we return false it means we cannot create a cycle inside the linked list So the time complexity for this problem is often because we are iterating throughout the singly linked list. And for the space complexity is often because there is no extra space memory used. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.